Speaking of going down roads, Jay Powell has, uh, he woke up this morning and he chose violence. <laughs> right? I mean, and, and, you know, listen, I know he must be frustrated because the market keeps saying, we don't believe you. Some of it is fault, mismessaging, mismanaging his message. But uh, this is what we're seeing today. Do you think this is an initial knee jerk reaction? Uh, what else might have to happen before the street takes Powell seriously? Drove down the road today, Charles, and actually drove in reverse, you know, because like we had this thing, I think all set up in a nice package, a nice box. And incidentally, when he started speaking today, Charles, the market rallied. I mean, we picked up about 20 points on the S&P like that and lost about 100 30 minutes later. So I agree with you. I, I think this is a knee jerk reaction. There's tons of stuff that is getting blasted today. I mean, absolutely crushed. So we have started to pick up some of those names, especially in tech, especially in consumer discretionary, because, dude, I'm telling you, the market realizes that I think the Fed is closer to done than they're maybe, maybe leading on. And if they're not closer to done than they're maybe leading on, as Powell maybe said today, then guess what? The data in the next couple months is going to tell them to slow down the roll on the rate hikes. And we're going to be right. cutting rates next year, man. I'm telling you, cutting rates next year because there's going right, to be disinflation and maybe deflation. I'm glad you put it out there. A lot of folks on the street uh, playing their cards close to the vest, equivocating. You don't do that. Hey, real quick, are mm -hmm. you buying in part because we're right through earnings season and you've seen names already that have already done extraordinarily well and you know they're going to do well no matter what happens in, over the next year? Yeah, great call. And talking about earnings season, man, I mean, we said this before and people liked it. They threw out the baby, the bathtub and the bath water and also burned the house down on a lot of these earnings reports. Some were better than others. But, man, all the bad data, at least everything we know now that's within reason to consider right. is out there. So tell me what could get worse besides all maybe right. no Halloween candy this year. And I'd buy these stocks right here, <laughs> which is a terrible Scott, situation. So much, I, know. I don't friend. want to scare Folks, the kids. No, you won't. Folks, we'll be right back. Thank <laughs> you.